Hey Stampers, welcome to another week of Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Aubrey, part of the Stampin' Jill creative team, and today I'm excited to share with you a fun technique that I saw on Facebook. It was in a group called the Demonstrator Planning Place. It's a group that's um, exclusive just for demonstrators for Stampin' Up! And I saw it from Melody Hyde. She posted it. This is what the card looks like. It's so cute. I love the idea that she had with this and I wanted to take it and replicate it and make it my own. So I wanted to kind of show you how I did it and give you a few ideas and pointers on it. So I chose to use this stamp set. It's called You Are Amazing. Specifically this stamp in here, the Hip 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 hooray three cheers for you. I thought it would work really good with this technique. So this stamp set is in our new mini catalog for January through June of 2021. It's part of a card kit set that you can order separately. So I wanted to use it. It's super fun. It's new and I'm really excited about it. So let me show you what I've done. I have previously embossed in white embossing powder on four different colors. For this stamp per in particular, these pieces of paper that I cut are two and a half by two and three quarters. I feel like that was a good size for this. And then I embossed with white embossing powder, the hip hip hooray three cheers for you in four different colors. The colors I used are Highland Heather, Coastal Cabana, Daffodil Delight, and Flirty Flamingo. I loved this color combination you obviously can choose any color combination and go from there. Um, so I wanted to just kind of show you how I went about making this card and then show you the full card put together. So I started with the Coastal Cabana. So I'm gonna take my Stampin' Trimmer and I'm just going to cut off just on, a, on an angle here, um, just about this hip hip and a little bit of the hooray. Okay, and it, there's no science to it. I just like it kind of on an angle like that. Okay, and then I'm going to set that other part aside and then I'm going to take my um, Highland Heather piece and I'm going to do down into the three where it says three and do another slit. You can see I'm kind of building it on top of each other here. Okay. Next, I'm going to take my flirty flamingo and I'm going to go down into the cheers, and do another slit, just like that. Oh, put that under, like that. And then this one, you're just going to leave so it has the bottom just like that. Okay, so then to get the sides kind of skiwampus too, I just take and I kind of trim just a little bit on some of the sides. I don't, it's not really any specific thing. I just trim a little bit so that, let's see, that's the A, so that it's not perfectly square when you put it all down, okay? Like that, and then like that. Now I'm gonna trim this part too so you can't see the top of it, and this one. Okay, now we're gonna put it together, just like that. Here, we'll start out with the yellow on the bottom and just build it up, and just like that. You have a cute little saying, but with the four different colored paper. So I already have one that I have put together. It comes out looking like this. So cute, you just line up the different joints of where the words are. So let me show you the finished card here. 
hip hip hooray three cheers for you i used our cute little balloon punch and then just put some twine there and i i just loved the way that that turned out so much fun i did one other card i liked this idea too this stamp is from the ridiculously awesome stamp set it's another great stamp set to do this kind of technique and i wanted to do kind of more of a monochromatic look with the blue so make today ridiculously awesome and i did it sideways instead of up and down i thought that kind of turned out really fun too i loved this technique from melody hyde and i love the demonstrator planning place on facebook it's a great place that to get ideas for stampin up demonstrators out there so if you are a stampin up demonstrator and that's something you're not a part of you should go and join because it's super super great you can get some really great ideas and if you're a customer and you want to have some of those ideas maybe consider signing up as a demonstrator so you can have that community as well i hope you've enjoyed watching this technique today and i'll see you next week for another watch it weekly wednesday